We're facing such a massive challenge of the global water crisis. Water is, is a driver of change in terms of fundamentally impacting on extreme events, droughts, floods, heat waves related to water scarcity, all forms of, of challenges that we're seeing in the world on, on abrupt extreme events are water related. So this project has some really uh, game-changing world thinkers. As an economist, I'm very interested in thinking about how the design of our policies have been part of the problem, have been part of the problem in terms of how we actually theorize and think about the economy. Uh, the economy is very much an outcome of how we govern public organizations, private organizations, civil society organizations, but especially how they relate one to another. And I think a problem, but also an opportunity like water that really cuts through all the sustainable development goals. It's not just about SDG 6 on you know, sanitation and so on. It's not just about SDG 14, so life below water, you know, our oceans. It's very much about gender parity, about new forms of collaboration, about hunger, about climate change. Water really runs through all 17 goals. And in that sense, in order to achieve those goals, it's not going to happen without investment. It's not going to happen without finance. It's not going to happen without actually rethinking issues around ownership and intellectual property rights. There is no lack of finance, in fact. There's a ton of finance in the world. But you need governance models that incentivize finance, that regulate private sector participation so that the private sector gets a decent return, but you're serving the public good. Um, and that requires a partnership between the public and private sector that goes well beyond traditional partnerships. It involves sharing the risk, it involves co-investing. So it's not just the public sector as a regulator or the private sector. We've got to invest in R&D, technological scale-ups. You've got to invest in global public goods as well. And the key is this, when countries contribute internationally to improving a capacity somewhere else in the world for water security or climate security or health security, it's not about aid. This is not about extending an aid budget. It's about an investment that's going to pay off for each of our countries as well. We've been having studies on water and worrying about it, but it hadn't gotten the urgency that it deserves. The word for water in my language, which is the Igbo language in, from Nigeria, is mili. That word, mili, evokes life, because in my language and my culture, for us, water is life. I'm sure it's the same in other cultures. So when I, I say the, the word water, literally, it brings the image of life and living. It evokes all of that in me, and that's why the issue of water is so precious.